Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video, Didn't you see forecast for today's second video. So, uh, as well as on Wednesday, we're having a look at the weather for the next six weeks for the United States. I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just say about the first video today on 6am upload. We'll be live streaming from 6pm this evening with our 10 to 14 day. Please like, share, subscribe on videos. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. Right, right so we're going to start off with the uh, week one uh, mean cell pressure anomaly, taking us from the 23rd to 30th of January. Above average heights, high pressure will be out to West of America, with but below average heights, low pressure extending into some of these uh, central states. The 500 millibar height anomaly for uh, week one is looking like that. We have an area of above average heights out to west, with travel below average heights for the central states, and a ridge over on the east coast. Uh, Subly winds up the east side, being mild weather there. Colder air coming down into those western and central states. Temperature anomaly for uh, week one is colder than average from the Pacific coast to the Rockies. Mild and average through the Midwest and in towards the eastern states. Quite significantly so. And uh, precipitation wise, it's drier than average in the west, but rather wetter through the southern and eastern parts of America. Uh, Means of pressure. Pressure anomaly for week two, which is the 30th of January to 6th of February, looks like that. Low pressure out towards the Pacific coast, high pressure ridging through these northern states. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. So uh, below average heights extending into the northwest and into some of the northern states, above average heights in the southern and eastern parts of America. Temperature anomalies for week two go colder across much of the states, but still quite mild in the far east and southeast, but cold air is expanding out from the west into the Midwest in particular, and starting to push in towards the east as well. So becoming much colder across large portions of America through uh, the first week of February. And precipitation-wise, it looks like this. So wet out towards the west coast, dry through the central state, but of course very cold, and any, precip any precipitation that does fall will fall as snow, wet down in the far southeastern corner. Week 3 will be the 6th to the 13th of February. So more changes, uh, high pressure up towards the east and the northeast, low pressure out towards the uh, west perhaps, the 500 millibar height anomaly takes that trough back out towards the northwest and uh, begins to raise the ridge in the south and the east once again. That should allow milder air to start pushing back in, so uh, we find that northern and western northwest parts of America are cold, but the southern, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, eastern Southeastern parts of America are becoming uh, milder again. And precipitation-wise, for week three, looks quite wet across many central and northern parts of America, dry in the far southern states, perhaps. Week four is the 13th to the 20th of February. Two ridges, one in the uh, west and one in the east, probably a trough sinking in through here, perhaps the 500 millibar. Height anomaly looks like that. So, uh, again, we've got a ridge in the east and a ridge out towards the uh, northwest. The uh, temperature anomaly is cold still across those western and in some uh, central states, but mild over in the east. And the uh, precipitation anomaly looks like that. Not much of a signal. Week 5 is the 20th, 27th of February. This looks like turning colder in the east of the northeast with this area of low pressure digging in along with the jet stream. It's something like that. High pressure out in the west. The uh, 500 millibar height anomaly shows not much of a signal. The temperature anomaly actually looks relatively mild still. Also, it's eastern parts of America, colder out west. And the precipitation anomaly looks like that. Again, not much of a signal. And then finally, for week six, which is the 27th of February, 6th of March, that's how it's looking. You know, a ridge out to the southwest, otherwise not much of a signal. The 500 millibar height anomaly uh, it's probably not going to update, so we will push on from that very quickly. The temperature anomaly looks like that. Is it going to update? Probably it's not going to update. So, uh, EC, thanks so much for ruining my video. Thank you so much, EC. Right, precipitation anomalies uh, are a little bit wetter than average in the sixth week, but it is quite a weak signal. Temperature anomaly for week six is cold and average in the west, mild and average over in the east. Did the 500 millibar height anomaly update? Yes, it did, with some uh, lower pressure lifting out towards Canada 
and a race towards the far southeast of America. And we're done. If you enjoyed this extended UFC broadcast, please you like, share, subscribe, we'll do it all over again next week. Uh, we're going to be back later on with our live stream. That will be at 6 p.m. live stream in 10 to 14 days. So come back for that then for this week's UFC broadcast. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.